Two Blue Fred here. Hey guys. Um, today we're going to show you how to take the front cowling, the fairing, whatever you want to call it, off the 2020 Road Glide Limited. It just happens to be in Zephyr Blue. Right. There you go. So guys, get ready for some bit changes. There are four different bits that you're going to need to get all the screws off. There's 10 screws holding the cowling on. Uh, you're going to have to take the windshield off, some plastic, uh, several things. Real simple. It, nothing complicated about it. Uh, you can get this done in about 15 minutes. Make sure you have a nice cleaned off space to set your plastic parts so they don't get scratched or damaged. Alright guys, first step in removing the cowling is let's go ahead and get your, uh, your speaker grill covers off. Alright, these are just plastic. They're just using some little clamps behind. You don't really want to use a tool because you'll scratch up your, your paint or something. I mean, if you have like a plastic something or another. But I mean, truly, you can get in here behind it with your fingers almost and just sort of work your way up and grab hold of it and it comes right out. I mean, you see you just got these little plastic lips, these plastic little springy dudes, right, that go into these notches and here on the side. I'm gonna take them out on both sides. Behind the speaker grill, you've got this one little T27 torque. I'm terrible about dropping things into the engine, so I'm always real careful. <clears throat> but there's one on each side. You take both of those out. And... All right, guys, so up here on the front, you've got these little black covers uh, that hold the windshield against the cowling cover. There's some screws behind it, so it's, it's, it's part of the assembly that you gotta get off. These right here, take the 1 8 it's a hex nut, and you're going to loosen. You're not going to take these all the way out, right? But you're going to loosen them a little bit because the windshield has some slats, and once you get it loosened, it will actually slide out without you having to remove the whole bolts, and it keeps you from dropping a bunch of screws and stuff on your paint. We've loosened up these screws, but you just grab hold of it, Pull it from the back, kind of slide it in a little bit, right? And it comes off. You just go ahead and finish pulling those out the rest of the way, setting them aside. In order to get this off, you just grab hold of it, pull lightly, right? You've just got these little clamps right there, sliding into these little notches right there. Take it off, set it aside, keep it safe. So you've got these air deflectors right here on each side of the of the cowling and they've got two bolts one top one bottom i'm going to use the uh the t25 is what this one needs and you're just going to pull the screws out take them all out set the screws and the deflectors aside so you've got these two screws one on each side right behind the turn signal you're going to loosen those up take them out one on each side and that'll free the last part of the fairing. Those are the last screws. You have some connectors. They're just quick connects. You squeeze them like that, and they come apart. Really super easy, right? You got one on each side, okay? You disconnect those, and that'll free the fairing to move them apart. All right, so after you've disconnected the, uh, the turn signals right here, you got all 10 bolts out. The fairing will just, uh, the, the cover will just slide off, exposing the electronics. Give you your workspace. Set this thing aside in a safe place so you don't hurt it. If you like our video, please check us out. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you on the next ride. Freaking ride every day.